Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 116, getting to the end of the year of 2016. We'll have this meeting. We'll probably have a meeting next week because it's just before Christmas, and then boom, it'll be 2017. And from what I'm hearing, a lot of people are excited to get out of this year. I don't know why, but it seems to be a thing. As always, these meetings were recorded for those people that aren't here with us right here, right now, like Bob, who's off at a dentist thing. So Sean's flying my wingman today, but Sean's also under the weather, so we're not going to make him talk much. And we're going to keep this meeting short. We're in the holidays. Everybody's really, really busy, I know. So we'll go through, do our triage, make sure nothing's falling over really bad. Um, anything people want to talk about that are here, I doubt it because it's John and Jacob, like always. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. So without further ado, Triage. Sean, I'm not going to ask you to confirm, but hopefully you're ready to start taking the notes in the background. Um, I think I guess there's five issues today. One, two, three, four. Hey, five. Exactly five. Um, here we go. Getting started. Out of memory exception when saving newly generated Wix project. I saw Bob was following up on this, and it was the right. It has to do with save new projects when created if you check, uncheck the project solutions, yeah. Um, this is the first time we've ever heard of this issue, um, which I guess a lot of people don't set, check that box then. Um, so I, we should, I, I don't know that Bob's going to be working on it. Oh, Are we you, you've seen it? So John, you've reproduced this, or if you, yeah, all right. So don't check that checkbox um, for now. Uh, given that this hasn't come up for a very long time, I'm going to say it's not a huge priority, so we could toss it 3x and see if anybody wants to jump in and and ever take it, work on sure. it, fix it. Yeah, all right. I'm going to get one word answers out of Sean today. Oh, I've lost my mouse cursor. <laughs> all right. Light crash item has already been added. Ooh. Oh, this is the prog ID problem, I bet. Right, yes, they have two different version independent prog IDs somehow. Yeah, there's a very old bug open on this. Um, I think we can dupe this back to that bug. It's been around forever and ever and ever. Um, and it's a weakness in the way that we process the prog IDs. What we need, I think, is the title has something about prog ID ref. Because what we really need to be able to do is say, don't create another prog ID because it's going to be a duplicate in Clyde. Instead, go reuse this definition of a prog ID somewhere else. Um, and well, we don't have that today. Okay, um, I'll search for that. Yeah, it's it's going to be like <laughs> it's one of our oldest open bugs, and I may have opened it. Not that that's going to still be in it, but that's going to be the issue. And the workaround is to not define the same prog ID twice, so it's not or you have to switch to like reg keys and basically manage the prog ID yourself. It's not great, but that's the only thing you can do right now. Um, but I remember that specifically. Unmodified Wix projects are che automatically checked out on save all. Um, hmm. So we're doing something wrong somewhere. This kind of sounded familiar. All right. Well, this we can toss be. it 3x, and anybody that wants to take it. We don't have anybody actively doing a lot of work in Votive, so um, if the, these things are... Oh, it's in driver test? No. What? Why is the driver test package in the stack? Kind of weird. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, yeah, put it in 3x, and if anybody wants to go tackle it, totally should not do that. Yeah, I have a feeling this one's a duplicate as All well. Right. Cool. If you find it, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, to fix incompatible delta patching due to install e sequence error. Um, I guess that doesn't surprise me. To fix that isn't owned by us, so it's kind of tricky. Um, due to sequencing. And patch files is 490. Haha. <laughs> As a result, the existing driver is reinstalled, and then the new driver is never installed. Um, 
Yeah, this is the problem. We don't own Defix app either. I don't know what we do here exactly. So we don't have the source code for the diffx app extension, or? Well, we don't have the source code for the custom action code for sure, and I don't know, I don't remember how we created the Wix lib. Um, we might be able to move it in the Wix lib, uh, but that would be the only thing to do. So uh, moving the sequence is tricky. Or do sequences matter in patching? I don't think they matter in patching in the end. So presumably this could move to another reasonable place um, and could give it a number of 4095 or something. All right. Well, I, I guess we could put it in 3x and see if anybody wants to go and fix the diffix app and see how to do it. I, I don't think we build the diffix app Wix libs. It's been so long since I've looked at it. Um, but maybe we could, you know, manually hack them to move this around, um, and then let the sequence be overridable as well. Maybe. So if you wanted to do it, so we could move it to like 4095 explicitly, and then um, to work around the issue. Okay. So, Anyway, we'll put the notes in if anybody wants to go dig into making different app. I don't use it, so I, I'm a little hesitant to go and change it because I wouldn't know how to test that what I did didn't break something else. XML config crash. There's the mouse curse. Uh, hi, boo. Delete an item from web config, but use compilation. Oh, compilation. So this is the tools. Candle object. Oh, huh. Really? X, X, oh, this must be four. Okay, this is a four. Uh, throw this at me. I probably messed something up. Um, toss this bug at me in four. Okay. And I will add it to my backlog of things that I need to do uh, to get four standing up well. Um, yeah. And I think that will be triage. Quick, easy. Anything else anybody else wants to talk about? I know Sean's sick over here. Um, we're all kind of saying before this meeting been really crushed right now um, with stuff, but next couple of days things should lighten up a little bit for me, so hopefully I'll be a little bit more. Uh, uh, I, I just need a little more time so I can spend some of it moving Wix 4 forward, which is what I want to get back to doing. Yeah, get well, get happy, get done. Yeah, get done is a big one. Um, that's what I got. All right, so John's got that. Um, I think... Uh, I think we'll do a meeting in two weeks because that's the 20th. I, you know, you guys be around here. Does that sound good? Do one last triage of the year. I'll um, be here. All right, cool. If you're here and John or <laughs> all right, so John's here. That's enough for a quorum at least. I probably Bob will probably show up as well. Um, I don't know if Jacob's going to go off to take off the end of the year, but if he is, I'm very jealous. Um, so we'll be around next in two weeks. Um, all right, yeah, I hear you. I hear you, John or Jacob. I need to. I need time to just sit down and spend some time on it. It's just not had that time, and I know a lot of people are kind of like stuck on me doing this stuff. So, um, yeah, working on getting more slices, time slices to spend on it. Um, all right. So, well, uh, everybody have fun doing your holiday. Uh, planning, I guess, is probably what a lot of people are doing. If you're traveling, getting prepared for traveling, things like that. Um, I just want to remind everybody this Saturday, um, I think 5 o'clock Pacific time, the Sounders are playing against Toronto in the MLS Cup. So you, on Fox, which means if you have TV, you probably get the channel. So you can sit down, watch, and cheer on the Sounders. Uh, it's the first time to the MLS Cup. Although, honestly, we're playing Toronto, and if there's any team to play in the MLS Cup, Toronto's the other team that I could cheer for in the East. It's kind of like, yeah, those guys, they're a pretty good team. They've become a good team, and I kind of feel for them. They've had a <laughs> similar story to the Sounders with a harder start. Anyway, those of you that aren't into, uh, I was going to say American football, which is completely wrong, um, so I guess I'm going to have to call it soccer. Uh, you can ignore that last, you know, 30 seconds. I'm just filling time to fill in 10 minutes on this meeting. And 
until two weeks, we'll be talking about MLS Cup at least a little bit, especially if the Sounders win on Saturday. Watch it. And otherwise, uh, keep filing bugs, keep writing code, and all that kind of good stuff. I'll see you guys next week. Later.